I have been doing my budget every year since I was five. Every December, I would count my money, all the money that I have in the bank account or at home, and do a forecast for the following year. At that age, my only income was from my pocket money, money that uh, I have loaned to my parents, and when they reimbursed me, they had to pay me the interest. Of course, I did not know what interest was at the time, but uh, I knew that when I loan uh, someone money, I should get more in return. I was running my finance well, doing my budget every year on little pieces of paper. And then when I got a computer, I started doing this on the computer and I started uh, drawing graphs on the computer. I, I really like uh, doing graphs, not only for money, I was doing graphs about almost everything because I, I like statistics. Two years ago, I made a promise to myself that I will make a million dollars before the age of 30. Then I started investing. So instead of doing my budget every year, I started doing it every six months. But now I do it every quarter. When companies do their quarterly earnings, I'm also doing my budget. It's easier like this for me to take into consideration all my investment portfolio, how it's, it has changed. I can of course do it every week or every month, but uh, I think every quarter is better to, to have a look how my portfolio is moving. I use an app on my phone to record every purchase that I made every day. But the real budget, I do it only quarterly. I don't uh, look just at the portfolio. I, I also take into consideration all my assets and liabilities. Because to calculate net worth, net worth is total assets minus total liabilities. We have to take all this into consideration. I don't have big liabilities. I only have uh, my credit card debts, but uh, it's, uh, it's a short term debt because I'll always pay my credit card debts uh, within a month. My assets are all the things that I own, my money in the bank and also my investment portfolio. This year I wanted to double my net worth, but uh, right now I'm 4% down. Let's have a closer look at uh, my assets and then I will tell you why I'm losing money and what can be done. The first chart that we are looking at is the worth of different assets over time, so it's for the last two years. The blurry part uh, in, at the bottom are the different stocks in my portfolio, but it's not so important for the time being because my portfolio is still young, so it doesn't really make that huge of a difference. The blue line is the, the amount of cash that I have in my portfolio. It's uh, decreasing because I'm converting all most of my cash into investments because cash in the bank does not really matter it, it uh, loses its value with uh, inflation so I've, i'm converting my cash into investments and the bright uh, red line is the total assets that i have as you can see it has been increasing and then uh, this year in uh, from uh, the last quarter it has been decreasing the second chart uh, that i'm showing you is the equity distribution Again, you will see the large blue part was cash. So at one time, I had the 70% of my net worth in cash, but right now it's about only 12%. For To be safe, I like my cash balance to be about uh, 15%. So right now I need to increase my cash balance a little because uh, you always need to have an emergency fund. You never know what may happen. So you need a little cash in hand. At the bottom of the chart, uh, you will see those big uh, blue, dark blue and uh, dark green uh, like mountains. These are my, these were my investments in Ethereum and Bitcoin. So it has a huge impact in the amount of money that I had last year. Since I already converted all my gains in cryptocurrencies into stock investments, this doesn't matter anymore. But it shows you how they were, these uh, two cryptocurrencies were able to have such a huge impact on my whole net worth. Like I said, 12% of my net worth is in cash, 6% is assets. By assets, I mean all the things that I own. And the rest, uh, that is 82%, uh, is uh, in the stock market. Of course, currently, right now, my largest investment is in Tiffany, which is about 6% of my net worth. The real wisdom behind these charts will be visible only after a few years when my stock portfolio has grown. Because right now, it's just some blurry things. Of course, they have grown, but not as much to have such a big impact on my net worth. 
because investment in the stock market is a long term process. If you really want to be rich in the short term, you need to have a few streams of income. Benjamin Franklin said that an investment is yourself pays the best interest. So this year I'm losing money because I invested in myself. For example, I joined the HTC, the high ticket closing program of Dan Lok. So this cost me a lot of money. And I also had to buy books, uh, courses and all these other things. This, these are the things that are making me lose money. But it doesn't really matter. I, I'm not worried about it because I know that these investments, these knowledge that I have gained will help me grow my network in the future. The best way for me to make money now is to apply all that I have learned in real life, to apply it, to have multiple income streams. There are six months left before the end of the year and I'm still committed to doubling my net worth. If you have read the Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, you will know that being rich is not really about money. Money, of course, it's important. That's what the difference before, between the rich and the poor. The rich have more money, but it's more of a mentality. Because some people, maybe they have won the lottery, but most people who won the lottery, after a few years, they lose all the money. So what happens? It's because they don't have that rich person mentality. And maybe someone else uh, right now who does not have a good place to live, but they have made a good investment because they saw that it's better right now to invest this money instead of buying a good place to live. And then when this uh, investment they paid off, they bought a better place. So that's the difference between the poor and the rich. I will talk more about this book in another video because I think it's important to talk about this, what really differentiates between the rich and the poor. For today, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.